Hi Aquarius, happy birthday, happy new year, happy happy, right? Um, it's L here to do your, um, like a birthday spread uh, for you guys. So it's a special bonus, okay? Um, so I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. What we have on the first row is love and romance, uh, past, present, future, uh, career, finance, past, present, future, health and well-being, past, present, future. We have a sun at the bottom of the deck for Aquarius. Um, uh, blessings, uh, protection, positivity, uh, God, universe, whatever you believe in is is protecting you, bringing about positive uh, change, uh, positive outcomes. So um, know that, that even when it seems dark, bleak, um, like it's not going your, in your favor, know that um, the sun is governing everything. God is in control, right? Okay. So thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, thank you to those who keep coming back. All information of how to reach me is below. Going to the website, booking your own reading, looking at wait times and everything else will save you, you know, the trouble of sending me an email first, okay? All right. So, love and romance. The past was the Queen of Wands, okay. And the present, Eight of Wands, okay. And in the near future, we have the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords. Okay. So, in the past, either you or someone you're dealing with took great action into getting what they wanted that confidence is there or was um building back up uh you took your power back in a sense you also may have even been doing like some magic or different rituals maybe in regards to love and trying to bring and manifest that in your life um you might have been a little bit more outgoing charismatic uh Putting yourself in a place where you could meet other people. Um, in the past, there might have been uh, some sexual energy between someone. Presently, we have the Eight of, of Wands. This talks about... So when you're at the Eight, you, you can either have the strength to push it forward or you stay stagnant and stuck. And you go in that roundabout in that loop some of you may be communicating more with someone who's from afar you may be traveling to see a particular person you may be um, doing the online dating type thing or you may just electronically communicate with another person in regards to love and romance and they may be flirtatious messages going back and forth Someone's trying to push, move something along, whatever that may be, a relationship, you know, in its entirety, or it could be uh, trying to move along. Uh, even, I'm hearing like a divorce, the proceedings, or something of that nature. In the near future, we have the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. Some of you are put into a dilemma where you wherever you are you feel stuck in in that energy in that mental funk because for some of you it's do I allow the ten of swords to happen and actually allow the the ending the culmination of an ending the moving away from the moving out the separating the whatever do i allow that to happen 
or do I reduce it to the eight of swords and just stay stuck in my mind and my head about this situation and, and take no action in regards to going through the actual um, mental progression of allowing an ending. There's separation here. Now, this separation could be that you're in a relationship, but you guys are distant. There's no, there's a gap, there's separation, you know? Um, maybe due to the fact that there, it, there might be something or someone interfering. You are hesitant and anxious about resting in your power as the King of Swords and making a real clear, concise decision about what it is you want. Some of you for the it's a legal proceedings, divorce, attorney, court, judge, um, The, the ending is here. It's just do you move it along or do you kind of reel it back and try to make this work? Okay. So career and finance. In the past, Knight of Swords. Presently, Three of Wands. Nice. Oh, wow. The future. Will of Fortune. For some of you in the past, you could have had an abrupt career change, uh, job movement, job placement, going to a new career. I mean, you did it kind of quickly. You made your mind up about it quickly. Currently, you're at the three of wands, meaning you, you've done the creation process, the work of creating something that could be very solid, foundational for you. The four of wands would be next. You're here uh, waiting for that solidarity, for the the money to come in, the, the accolades, the prestige, the whatever. And it says in the near future, the will of fortune is definitely turning for you. Could be money. This is definitely money. Um, prestige. I mean, it could be anything in, in, in career and finance. It looks good. Money's coming in. You're getting recognition also. Um, the will is turning in your favor, not just because you, some stroke of luck, but you've actually done the work, okay? Uh, health and well-being in the past, the nine of pentacles, nice. Uh, currently, seven of swords, okay? Um, and then in the future, queen of pentacles. This is beautiful. If you're going to have surgery or you need to do some work um, or you need to make a, a plan of action to take in course of getting back to better health, the Queen of Pentacles is, she's the Queen of, or King if you're male, who is uh, always concerned about how she looks, health, wealth, and her well-being. Um, she is Rachel in the Bible. She um, is beautiful, is radiant, is uh, she, she or he cares about what goes into their body, what goes on their body. They, they cultivate something long lasting, the pentacle, and of course that's your health. You can have everything else, but if you don't have your health, you can't enjoy everything else, right? So, um, looks like in the past, you were in a really good, healthy state, really putting a lot of attention in on yourself looking good feeling good nine of pentacles um, it looks like presently you're gonna have to make a devise a plan of action um, maybe it might just be you that changes course in regards to how you eat if you're exercising what you're doing something about friends or partnership or whatever they may not be doing it and this is um, sometimes uh, what is what am I trying to say temptation for you so you have to be determined and uh, just to either maybe an emergency surgery or something about the drawing of blood here um, something from the past it cropped up from the past the five of swords 
that he carries. Five of Swords is about the past. Interference in the past. So something comes back. Because look. You were at the the pentacle of good health, right? And then now presently something came something reared its ugly hand in regards to your health and well being. Uh, but look where you end up in the future. Beautiful. I'm gonna pull a butterfly oracle card and um, an angel answers. We're going to clarify our love, bro. Career and finances looks beautiful. Um, we'll clarify the world of fortune over at my website. Keep in mind, it's always one dollar seventy-five cent to get clarity. Right? Shouldn't be that expensive. So. One dollar and seventy-five cents gets you a bit of clarity in regards to this general reading. It is a general reading. Okay, what can you? What do you have to tell Aquarius most, Lord God? What is it? What is it? In regards to the butterfly oracle cards. Okay, they're upside. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hobbies. Um, this is... For some of you, it will be monetizing a hobby, getting more involved in hobbies, a great mental, energetic release there. Um... It's going to bring you some money. It's going to bring you some money. Realizations and epiphanies. Yeah, some of you may be involved in some spiritual type of hobby. Some of you just may realize something in regards to whatever you're, you're thinking about. Some of you may be questioning um, your belief, spiritual practice. Some realization and epiphany comes to you in regards to you fill in the blank. Love, career and finance, your health, your well-being. If you believe, okay, that just kind of flew out of the deck. If you believe, you can have great health, which it looks like you will. You can have great money. Love looks like there's a there's a a situation where somebody was getting a lot of attention or they just feeling good about themselves and now they're in a place where they have to woman up man up and decide what it is they really want do they want to continue um, where they are or are they ending is, is this the end others for help nice okay um we're going to continue this over at the website thank you for tuning in guys happy birthday looks very very good for you um we're going to clarify love and romance okay all right also there's somebody separated from a person and they don't know if they should decide to go back or allow this person to come back not the truth about the separation too okay all right so over at the website one dollar 75 cents gets you the extended reading the link will be below um also it will be in the comment section thank you guys take care remember that i'm praying for you pray for me as well thank you guys take care